Oprah at center of major sex scandal after disturbing skeleton from her past comes crawling out. Over the past several weeks, there have been dozens of politicians and celebrities accused of sexual assault and harassment. Though many of these allegations have been toward men in positions of authority, one woman has stepped forward naming the talk show queen and Barack Obama supporter, Oprah Winfrey, of sexual crimes. For decades, Oprah has crafted a persona of caring and nurturing woman who supports women making it big in the media world, but that is not who she truly is. As it turns out, Oprah has some nasty skeletons in her closet that she has kept hidden to keep up her squeaky clean image to make a presidential bid in 2020. However, someone just opened a closed closet door, and the truth has come out about her sex scandal that will destroy any chance of her running for president for good. In a new stunning report, British actress Katie Ann Noble has charged the talk show queen of failing to warn her about Weinstein's sexual deviancy and even prodded Noble to speak with him to advance her career. Noble claims that Winfrey also went as far as to say that she could trust Weinstein and even praise the serial rapist alongside former supermodel Naomi Campbell knowing full well that he would sexually assault her. ABC News reports. British actress Katie Ann Noble claims Harvey Weinstein assaulted her in Cannes Hotel Room, files lawsuit for sex trafficking. An aspiring British actress Tiffany described Tuesday how Harvey Weinstein in 2014 made her stand in front of a bathroom mirror and forced her to perform a sex act while pretending to be interested in her career. Interested in Harvey Weinstein? Add Harvey Weinstein as an interest to stay up to date on the latest Harvey Weinstein news, video, and analysis from ABC News. Harvey Weinstein add interest. Katie and Noble has become the 86th woman to publicly accuse the disgraced movie mogul of sexual assault. Noble is not only suing Weinstein, she's going after him as an alleged sex trafficker. In her lawsuit, she accuses the Weinstein Company of violating federal sex trafficking laws by benefiting from, and knowingly facilitating, the venture in which Harvey Weinstein traveled in foreign commerce to recruit or entice female actors into forced or coerced sexual encounters on the promise of roles. According to Noble's lawsuit, it was common practice of Weinstein and well known to his brother Bob Weinstein that Harvey Weinstein would travel abroad and to different states to recruit solicit and entice young female actresses with promises of film roles only to then use force, fraud or coercion to engage them in sex. She is seeking damages under U.S. sex trafficking laws. At a press conference today in New York, Noble addressed Harvey Weinstein directly, you completely misuse the gift that you have to create magic in this world to absolutely take advantage of people. Her lawsuit claims Harvey Weinstein asked her to his La Majestic hotel room in Cannes in 2014 to review her reel with her and discuss further steps in securing the role he had previously targeted for her. Once there, the lawsuit said Harvey Weinstein began massaging Katie in and then gripped her shoulders. The lawsuit claims Harvey Weinstein told Noble that for audition purposes she needed to walk up and down the room for him, which she did. Annabella Sora and Daryl Hannah joined dozens making accusations against Harvey Weinstein. You Mitterman hits Harvey Weinstein an emotional post, you don't deserve a bullet. Knight says it has enough evidence to arrest Harvey Weinstein for rape. Harvey Weinstein then allegedly called an unnamed Weinstein company producer in the United States and put him on the phone with Noble, the lawsuit said. The Weinstein Company producer allegedly told Noble that she needed to be a good girl and do whatever he wished, and if she did, then they would work with her further, the lawsuit said. Harvey Weinstein then allegedly pulled her closer and groped her breasts. She resisted, exclaiming, No, Harvey, no, the suit said. However, at the same time, Noble felt compelled to comply with Harvey Weinstein's demands because of the tangible and intangible benefits he offered to advance her career, according to the suit. Weinstein allegedly pulled Noble into the bathroom and told her to relax while he gripped her firmly. He then started to rub her breasts and buttocks, according to the suit. Noble allegedly told him to stop and try to leave the bathroom, but Weinstein blocked her exit, according to the suit. 
Weinstein then pulled down Noble's shirt and forced his leg between her legs, and rubbed her genitals and began masturbating, the suit said. Noble again implored him to stop, and struggled against him physically, trying to escape the bathroom, according to the suit. Weinstein then continued to sexually assault her, the suit said. A representative for Harvey Weinstein said in a statement, Mr. Weinstein denies allegations of non-consensual sex. Mr. Weinstein has further confirmed that there were never any acts of retaliation against any women for refusing his advances. Neither a representative for Bob Weinstein nor the Weinstein Company immediately responds to ABC News' request for comment. It is horrible to hear that this woman was victimized this way and what makes it even worse it was by someone who she trusted. Oprah Winfrey should be held accountable for her actions since she appears to be equally culpable in destroying women's lives. If 